Rock and Pop Stories. Beatles, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, 1967. Can we believe John Lennon when he says this song has nothing to do with LSD? With the initials of the three main words of this song forming LSD on the one hand, and the fact that the band made no secret of their use of this hallucinogen on the other, everything can only reinforce our conviction. LSD use was not prohibited until 1967, yet the song's origin is quite innocent. At the time, John's son Julian was four years old and his best friend at school in Surrey was Lucy O'Donnell. Julian recounts, Lucy and I had an art class, and I drew Lucy with stars in the sky and called my daub Lucy in the sky with diamonds. That day, exceptionally, John picked Julian up from school. The child showed him his drawing, and the idea for the song was born. For a long time, John would deny this drug connection, claiming that he hadn't noticed that the initials were LSD. I didn't even notice it when I read the label on the record, but after that I paid attention and looked at all our song titles to see if they seemed to contain any secret message. It's worth noting that Beatles exegetes aren't the only ones to make this connection. McCartney himself declared that it seemed obvious to him that the song referred to LSD. As for the many images in the text, Donovan, one of Lennon's best friends, offers an explanation. Whether it's John or me, when we compose, we paint pictures in our heads. And then, when we put down our imaginary brushes to pick up our guitar, we paint our song. Like when John sings, picture yourself on a boat on a river. You're in a film or in front of a painting. John in Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds wanted to create a work of poetry, very much inspired by Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll the author of Alice in Wonderland. The song's structure is complicated, using three different musical keys and two tempos, one for the verses, the other for the chorus. It was recorded in three days. February 28th, 67, was devoted to rehearsals, March 1 and 2 to the actual recording, with the distinctive sound of the tampura, an instrument George had obviously brought back from their stay in India. As soon as it was released on June 1st, Lucy in the Sky was banned from the BBC. The rest is history, as the song and the Sgt. Pepper's album take their place at the top of the music pantheon. In 74, Elton John did a cover version that went to number one in the US, with John himself accompanying on backing vocals and guitar. But that is another rock and roll story. <laughs> 